Hi there, welcome. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Western Electric 500 telephone. Now, um, it's somewhat popular to have a rotary phone in the house nowadays. Um, you see them on sets of period uh, television shows and movies. And so you can go on eBay and grab a Western Electric 500 telephone um, for relatively uh, little money. And uh, I would say the average is about 50 bucks for one that's in really good condition. And they're fun to have. Um, if you have young kids, it's fun to have a rotary phone in the house um, that you can use to make telephone calls and just hear it ring. It's a glorious thing. Um, but when you buy a telephone uh, used off of eBay, inevitably, uh, it's going to have an old telephone number that's not yours um, or has anything to do with you. So wouldn't it be cool to have your telephone number in there and also make it look like um, it fits in with the phone and is period correct. So it's, it's very easy to do, but it's not an obvious thing to do because the dial doesn't just come off. You can't open up the phone and take the dial off in any particular way. Um, but it is very easy to do. Now the Western Electric 500 um, came out in 1950 and it was only black. It replaced the uh, Model 302 phone. So as you can see, it was quite an upgrade uh, and quite modern for 1950. They originally came out in black um, and in about 1955, they came out with a variety of different colors. So here you can see I have um, a green one here, this one, and the manufacturing dates are always on the back. This one's from July of 1969, this off-color green. And this one here is a, a newer phone. Um, and this one is from, well, it's not much newer, December of 1970. Um, these phones work great. Uh, I still have a copper telephone line because I have quite a phone collection and I like to use them. Um, so I'm able to dial uh, using a rotary dial and make telephone calls. Most of you at this point have voice over IP if you still have a, a phone line at all in your home. And uh, unfortunately on a digital telephone network, you can't use a rotary phone to make calls. However, you can still have one on the wall of your kitchen um, and it will ring and you can answer it and it will work as far as being able to answer the phone, but as far as dialing voice over P, uh, pardon me, voice over IP, um, will not work. So you've purchased your Western Electric 500 model on eBay. And you look and you see, well, you know, it's cool. I love having it on the wall of my kitchen. They, they made a, uh, a different model for the wall that has the same dial. And, and this dial was used in many different phones made by Western Electric. So this is applicable um, really to most phones with a plastic-faced dial. Um, and, you know, once you have the phone, again, you have this, this number that's not yours. And wouldn't it be fun to have your own telephone number in an old phone? Um, but at the same time, keeping that authentic look. So the easiest way to do that is just to get out a layout program. Okay. And here I used a, a 1998 version of Claris Works um, to... Uh, do the layout for the new number cards. And as you can see here, you know, it's just a matter of copying the fonts. I've used here, and what I found is closest to what the phone company was using, um, is an Arial um, font, um, specifically 
area, uh, Arial Narrow. Uh, here it is at the top of the area code and the area code itself. And bold, and here it is in just its uh, native form. Now, you'll notice on the layout that I have the numbers sort of at a jagged uh, layout here. So in other words, it's not straight across. The reason for that um, is the only thing, the telephones were again owned by the phone company, so they were professionally installed by um, people at the telephone company. They would come to your home, bring the phone that you had chosen. You could choose the color that you want and the type of phone. Not everyone had a 500. There were princess models. There were design line. Um, but they would show up with the phone that you had picked out at one of their hundreds, if not thousands, of Bell System phone centers um, that were mostly in malls. Um, you'd go into the phone center, you'd pick out the phone you wanted, and then a couple weeks later, the um, installation technician from your local Bell telephone company uh, would show up and install the phone. So when they came, they had a completely blank number card, um, and they would fill it out when they came to your home using a stamp, similar to uh, if you remember when you used to check out library books and they would turn the dial on a rubber stamp to the correct date. It was a similar type of system that the phone company used to print your number on the phone card. So obviously they wouldn't be in a straight line. Um, they would be jagged, you know, up and down like this. Imperfect, if you will. Um, so the goal, of course, is to get your telephone number in this dial. And how do you get this thing off? It doesn't pull off. Um, you know, and again, taking the phone apart, it's still together with this behind it. So it's really all you need to get that dial off is a paper clip. Now, if you look real close, and hopefully this will, this will uh, focus in on this tiny, minuscule hole that is between the number 9 and 0 on the dial. There's a tiny little hole, okay? And what that hole is is an access point to get to a push-down clip that holds the dial in place, okay? So if you just take a paper clip and bring it out so it's straight like this, you have access to push down on the clip holding the dial in place, okay? So in order to get the dial off, it twists off clockwise. So you bring the dial all the way to its stopping point, okay? So I've, tur so I've turned the dial all the way to its stopping point, at which point I take the paper clip Place it in the hole, push down, and while pushing, you turn, you continue to turn the dial clockwise. And once you've done, so I've turned the dial clockwise while pushing the paper clip. Now that I've done that, I can pull up on the dial, and off comes the dial. Okay? Now, you see here that I've I still have this old telephone number that has no bearing on anything going on with me. And apologies to whosever phone number that may be. I would venture to guess that it's disconnected at this point, um, but I'm sure you'll find that out. Um, so, the best way, as you can see here, this lines up pretty well. And on this number card, you can see how the numbers are, you know, in various shades of um, print and also not in a perfect line. So that's what I've attempted to do with my layout, is just make it slightly imperfect so it looks um, authentic. So I've found that the easiest way to get the perfect circle is to take an existing card, line it up on here, okay, and then I will take a pencil 
There you go. And trace around the original card. Okay. So now I have a circle around it. Um, and then I will take a pair of scissors and cut out that circle. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because you'll find that the dial will cover up any jagged type of edges. It'll, it'll almost smooth itself out uh, once you make the cut. Okay. Well, cut it all the way around. go. So now we have a brand new telephone number and you're going to want to put it back on the dial. Putting the dial back on the phone is super simple and you have your new number in there that you've laid out on the layout program of your choice. Again I use Claris Works which is a very old program um, but it works for me. So now you have the, your new telephone number or your telephone number in the dial. So you're going to place the dial back on the telephone, okay, so that the zero, where the zero number would generally be, the hole for the zero number is over the nine, okay? And once it's over the nine, remember when you took it off, you went counterclockwise, you simply click it back up, click it back up, and then the dial is back on and your telephone number is in the dial. So now not only do you have a cool telephone that you know people will notice when they come to your home um, and that's fun to use for your whole family, uh, you also have one that has your telephone number in it um, and that looks authentic with your number in it. So um, I hope you enjoy your Bell System telephones. There are many different models um, I have quite a few. I enjoy them all. I have them in all different colors. It's a fun thing to collect, um, an unusual thing to collect, admittedly, but, um, you know, definitely fun. It's fun to change out the phones. Um, so I highly recommend them. They're, there's nothing clearer than a, a phone call over a Western Electric piece of equipment. They work just like the day they were new. Um, loud, clear, um, and it's appreciated by people on the other end that that may have a staticky cell phone. They're like, wow, your, your phone call is very clear. Your voice is very clear. Well, that's because generally when I'm making a telephone call, um, it's on a Western Electric telephone. So that's it for uh, this video. That's changing your number out on the dial. Um, I thank you for watching and stay tuned for more on the channel. And, you know, if you like the video, give it a like. Um, if you like the different videos on our channel, Try subscribing, and we appreciate you watching. Thank you. Come on, come